Okay, so let me see. We've had strawberry girl makeup, cinnamon, pumpkin, pumpkin spice latte makeup. We've had a lot of food themed makeup, especially inspired by the colors and everything. And I have seen on TikTok so many people like slagging it up being like, can we stop? No. <laughs> so this is spiced vanilla inspired makeup tutorial and this actually also is inspired by somebody that i follow on instagram and tiktok their makeup is absolutely phenomenal really really highly recommend that you go and check out this girl's makeup alexandra claire i will link her instagram and tiktok down below if you love grungy glam her makeup was honestly absolutely stunning okay I don't know what I'm doing with this wee bit at the front yet, so we're just gonna clip it out of the way. <laughs> oh, that looks really silly. <laughs> okay, that's fine up there out of the way. So I'm gonna start my base first. I think I might actually just do um, primer, foundation, a bit of concealer and not set anything. Um, because this makeup includes quite a heavy lower lash line, so I'm just kind of scared of fallout. So the She Glam Birthday Skin Primer. So I have another She Glam video coming, by the way. <laughs> I might film it tomorrow, actually. I went on and bought a lot of their new products, like their newest releases and launches and stuff. Chroma Cover from Be Perfect. Still scraping it out. Ooh. I'm getting foundation like all up in the gems on my nails. Gross. Finally got some nails stuck on a couple of nights ago. <laughs> I've been rocking my natural nails recently and like as much as I like my natural nails, they're just like I just use like normal nail polish on them. I don't go and get my nails done, I don't go and get gels or anything. But like nail polish, like as you know, it just chips after like the second day. It looks, I just always find that whenever I have my natural nails, they look grubby as well because like whose nails are like spotless, you know what I mean? But like underneath my real nails are just so grubby and it's just so dirty looking. A full filter from Huda Beauty. And then I'm also gonna take the Beauty Crop Vitamin B Cream Bronzer. I think I maybe want to use this once, twice, maybe. Because it just makes that really dark. Oh, that's actually not bad, you know. I was expecting it to just be really pigmented and just too dark. It's actually nearly got a cool tone off it. Then it's nearly doing a bit of contouring as well. Gonna blend out this concealer. So we're going to start on the eye makeup now. I'm going to take the Be Perfect and Gravity palette. I'm going to start with this shade here. Uh, you see what I mean? Like my real nail and the fake nail. So I think this colour might be a wee bit too pale. Okay, that way shade was doing nothing to tickle my fancy. It was just far too pale and I wasn't really doing anything. So I just took a wee bit of the Urban Decay bronzer and just put a wee bit of that through my crease. I'm going to take a flat packing brush back into the gravity palette and take this shade here. I'm going to pop this all over the lid and also bring it into the inner corner. I'm taking this What's Up Beauty a black liner. realized I need a black eyeshadow so I've just left out the first palette I've seen that has a black eyeshadow in it so I'm gonna keep my gel liner open and handy and I'm gonna go in with the What's Up Beauty eyeliner. I'm probably making this more confusing <laughs> than what it really needs to be but I'm just wanting to smudge these liners um, so I obviously don't want them to dry on me. I'm just making sure to fill in the gaps between 
my lashes. completely forgot but I was going to use one of these lip and cheek bands from Colourpop. One of these here but I completely forgot and went on ahead and set my skin. But I'm just going to quickly do my base here. I'm going to use this Jordana Tisha blush. I do apologise it's discontinued. I'm going to take a mixture between two lip liners, Colourpop, CTRL and Technique Berry. Oh, what one will I use first? I used the dark one first from Colourpop. Ow! What a spot my lip! Holy shit, that really hurt. Um, cyberspace so glossy lip gloss from Colourpop. I kept this wee bit down at the front because I had an idea of what to do with it, but it, <laughs> it didn't really go to plan. <laughs> So we're just going to leave it at that, don't care. But guys, all the products that I did use will be listed and linked down below in the description box. Follow me on TikTok, that'll be also linked below as well. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.